What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today, you know what? I actually think that Code Chef Long contest that beginners should actually do Code Chef Long. And I know people say that they don't don't compete on Code Chef, the problems are bad. But here's the thing that I normally don't give competitive programming advice, but this is like the thing why why I think Code Chef Long contests are pretty good. Okay, especially for beginners. Okay. So in Code Chef Long, you have like a few days to solve a few problems, right? And then you're gonna be doing these problems and you're gonna try as your hardest. You're gonna try the best at trying to solve the problem, right? And the thing is, is that normally to me as a beginner, right? Whenever I do competitive programming, if I go to like a short contest and I tried to solve the problem, like during practicing, what happens is that I just end up giving up. Like once I see the problem and the problem statement's too long, or I tried two things, two ideas, and I just don't know how to do it, I end up giving up, okay? Now, here's the difference is that when you do a long contest, right, you are, you're, since you're not limited by time, what happens is that you try your hardest to figure out the problem, right? So I've never actually spent like at least like six hours on a problem or more or something, or like even just like just thinking about a problem taking a long time and then finally being able to solve it, right? So like whenever you do a long contest, you try to think your think your hardest to try to solve the problem, right? You're trying to like, even like, even just eating food, I've just been thinking about how to do this problem. And then somehow I was able to solve it, right? So this is, this is why a long contest are good is that it basically trains you to think to not give up on a problem, right? Because if you have a few days to figure out this problem, and you're just trying your hardest to figure out this problem, and then you finally figure it out, it gives you, it gives you like good like good habits to do when you finally do a short contest. Because what happens is when you do a short contest, you're not going to give up immediately once you see the problem, right? So even even though like sometimes these problems aren't, aren't like super great, like they're just like a pretty average, like pick two values like adjacent, remove them from their sum from the position, right? Like they still, they're still really good in that they give you like the, um, the have good habits that you could use when you actually start competing on like short contests. So that, that's just one one my advice to you guys. Uh, I normally don't give out advice on competitive programming. The main reason is like whatever that happens to me does not really work for you. And uh, whatever happens to other people may not work for you also. So like this is just my take to it on why I think like doing long contests are pretty good. But yeah, what do you guys think? Rate, comp, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that long contests are good, long contests are bad, they're not good for you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, peace.